Estimating the thickness of stratigraphic units is an important part of a geological investigation of an area, and we can do this using the outcrop width of that unit as expressed on a map. So, in this short presentation, we're going to look at an example of doing just that. So, we're going to use this map, and we're interested in trying to obtain the thickness of a unit on here, the lower quartzite. And that lies between the Lewisian gneiss underneath in the pink colour and a grey unit on top, the pipe rock. So the lower quartzite forms the filling in a sandwich. And it's over here on the map. So our mission is to find the thickness of this lower quartzite layer. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to project the boundaries of the top and the base of this unit across the water, those lakes or lochs, on the map. We're going to measure the outcrop width and then we're going to use the dip of this unit to estimate its stratigraphic thickness. Now there are a few assumptions that we need to consider with this method. We're going to assume that the top and the base of this stratigraphic unit are parallel. In other words, this unit has a constant thickness. We're also going to assume that the bedding is parallel to the boundaries of this unit. Okay, so let's get going. So our first thing to do is to project the boundaries of the lower quartzite, its top and its base, across the water. And we're going to use this bedding orientation to do this. Now we only need to use one bedding orientation. And if we look at the range of values on the map, we can see there's a range, but they're all more or less in the same sort of ballpark. So we're going to use a single orientation, which is a strike of 012 and a dip of 12 degrees, which will be towards the east. And we'll use this trend to project the boundaries across the water parallel to this direction of strike. So that's what we've done on the map. Those two thick lines take where the boundary at the base and the top of the lower quartzite come down to the water's edge, and then across the water surface, we will project their continuation along this trend of strike of 012. Now we can measure the outcrop width on this datum represented by the water level of the lake. And this value of outcrop width is measured perpendicular to the strike, i.e. in the dip direction. So if we do this on this particular example, the outcrop width we can measure off to be 410 metres. OK, so now it's time for some trigonometry. We'll use the dip to estimate the stratigraphic thickness given this outcrop width of 410 metres. So let's set up the trig. So looking side on, I've cartooned up in those thick black lines the down to the right, which is down to the east, dip of about 12 degrees, and the outcrop width measured on a horizontal surface, the water level of our lake. So the relationship of the outcrop width to the true stratigraphic thickness, in other words, that value shown by the red double arrow there, is related by the dip of the layering through this trigonometry. So the true stratigraphic thickness T is equal to the outcrop width W multiplied by the sine of the dip A. So let's plug in our numbers. The outcrop width W is 410 meters. The dip that we're using is 12 degrees. So A is 12 degrees. The sine of 12 degrees is 0.21. So T, the true stratigraphic thickness, is 410 metres times 0.21, which comes out at 86 metres. So the thickness of our lower quartzite layer is 86 metres. Remember, we've made some assumptions. We've assumed that the top and the base of this unit are parallel, so there's only one thickness. And we've assumed that the bedding measurements we're using are representative of the orientation of the boundaries, therefore the bedding is parallel to those boundaries. So that's the method. It's really straightforward. It shows the importance of taking boundaries down to the water's edge so that we can then simply project boundaries across the water, measure the outcrop width and use the dip to do that simple bit of trigonometry. A really simple method of estimating stratigraphic thicknesses using the outcrop width on maps.